La inversión china se encuentra en la mayoría de los países del mundo y según cifras oficiales el stock de inversión directa de China en el exterior en el año 2015 es 37 veces mayor que en el año 2002 y también se ha mencionado que China ya se ha convertido en la segunda fuente de inversión directa en el mundo. No nos olvidemos y también fue una de las cosas que se dijo en el evento que las perspectivas de crecimiento de China son buenas claro, tiene una repercusión en los precios de las materias primas que nosotros exportamos. Pero también se dijo que la economía china ahora está más impulsada por el consumo que por la inversión. Y eso significa que se abren nuevas oportunidades para exportar bienes de consumo a China. So in the beginning of 1980s, China faced a serious shortage of supply of the goods. So as a result, Chinese government decided to reform by just giving a bonus to managers and workers and link their pay with the bonus payments. They start reform with that kind of simple ideas and suddenly make an economic boom into more than 15% a year. So as a result, start from 2000, they introduce another kind of reform, which is a third round of the reform, is a privatizing small and medium-sized firms, particularly the loss-making firms. Then push economic boom again because ownership reform. Plus, at that time, China entered to WTO. Then another round, which is quite long, long, of the economic boom start from. And then that lasts for 10 years until 2008, which is an economic crisis. And then get down and got a lot of trouble for state-owned firms. Then they initiated another th fourth wave of economic reform, which current economic reform for their enterprises. After the booming, end of the booming of the raw materials, I think maybe some people say uh, the honeymoon was over between China and Latin America. Uh, but I don't think so. I think there is a lot of, still a lot of potential uh, for both sides to build a, a new type of development partnership to help each other find more opportunities to facilitate their, their own development. I think the initiatives uh, like the Belt and Road Initiative, Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank and the New Development Bank will help their counterparts have renewed interest in the infrastructure sector. I think China welcomes the participation of the Latin American region in the BRI because the Latin American countries are important emerging economies and markets as, and, as well as major trade partners for China.